Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Castle Crashers. In this episode we are going to the dock because we finally have the three relics to set sail which is really just you know a compass, a steering wheel, and a telescope which are all pretty necessary for a ship so it's not like these great treasures it's just yeah we need these to sail. Now we're on a boat! I'm on a boat! And oh look there's pirates in the background and now they're shooting cannons or they're shooting cannonballs, I guess. Would, would you say they're shooting cannons or cannonballs? I'm not sure what would be the more accurate term. Those are crabs right there in the ship. And oh look, there's ninja pirates. That's like, it's like worse than normal pirates or just ninjas. They're ninja pirates. It's just, how can you fight that? <laughs> uh, and I'm fighting them on a boat with the ship rocking and is that a robot being taken down by the Kraken in the background? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I almost wish I could attack the mast for some reason, even though that would not be good. Just waiting for more enemies and more cannons, or more cannonballs. Alright, too bad I can't go up here and have that little go up the stairs thing. <laughs> Alright, I uh, can't go through the door. And more pirate ninjas! Seriously, I know there's like this rivalry between pirates and ninjas, but ah, uh, ah, uh, sure again. Alright, uh, do they have shields? Is that a tin can for a shield? Or what is that? I have no idea. Oh look, food! Inside the barrels there's food. Ah, uh, maybe a few more. Ah, uh, using the substitution jutsu. Thankfully they don't know the cognitive function no jutsu. Or the shadow clone jutsu for those who do not speak Spanish and not Spanish. <laughs> for those who don't speak Japanese, not, not Spanish. Uh, I don't really speak any Japanese either, but um, I'm just a big fan of Naruto, so I picked up a few things. Alright, and for some reason their ship is getting destroyed. Probably because this ship has cannons, even though I'm not doing any of the shooting. So this was actually a pretty cool fight. Uh, even if it was pretty easy and not really that eventful. But it's pretty cool, nonetheless. And now we land in the desert! And this is where you're supposed to get the shovel, but uh, because I was playing as another character and I already got the shovel, nah, uh, obviously I already have it. But this enemy is a little difficult, uh, uh, but more like a little annoying than difficult. Um, and the scorpions, you don't need to worry about them. I think they die in one hit, no matter how much damage you do, and uh, they don't prevent you from moving on. Uh, uh, it's usually best to use uh, ranged attacks against these ant lions. Um, at least I call them ant lions. I don't know if that's actually what they are, but um, I don't really have any good ranged attacks. And these guys, these guys are annoying because they tend to roll up in a ball and. They're pretty, as far as I know, they're invincible when they're like that. Um, but you just need to uh, ignore the scorpion. Um, and yeah, if you have a good enough attack and defense, I guess, uh, they're not that bad. Because uh, you can usually uh, defeat them dang it, uh, before they go into the ball. Uh, and I don't think you can actually uh, use your shield to defend against that. I think they break through your shield. Um, they don't have that much health, so they're not a big problem. The music here is pretty interesting. Um, also, slightly ah, dang it. <laughs> uh, slightly fun fact: if that is um, based off an ant lion, uh, an ant lion is a real thing. Um, some of you may know the term ant lion from uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, I know that there's some enemy or boss or something named the Antlion, and uh, if you know uh, Pokemon, the bug, or the, uh, the Pokemon uh, Trap Inch, I think its name is, um, that's also based off an Antlion. Uh, they're also known as Doodle Bugs, but I've never heard of them as Doodle Bugs. Um, anyways, they're beetles, or some kind of beetle, that will live uh, in the sand and they dig a sort of pit in the sand to trap their prey 
and they dig. What's really cool about them is that they dig the pit uh, at the right angle so that they're able to climb up and get their prey, but their prey isn't able to climb out. So it can't be too steep, otherwise they can't go up and get their prey, and it can't be too uh, shallow, I guess, um, otherwise the prey would just escape. So it's really cool how uh, they would know that perfect angle, which is just pretty cool in my mind. Um, and there's more info about them, I'll leave a link in the description, because uh, I think that they're really cool. Um, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> that's a little spiel about antlions, and uh, we should be coming up to a point, a uh, little mini boss. Uh, soon you can see there's a little like pyramid thing in the background with some sort of shiny thing in, in the middle of it, and then there's a pyramid being dropped down by some kind of alien spacecraft, <laughs> which of course lots of people have some kind of conspiracy where they think that aliens built the pyramids. And clearly, they did not. At least, you know, clearly to me. Um, Alright. And these enemies, I don't know what they're called. But they're a little annoying, just because, you know, they're enemies. And now, we fight the alien spaceship thing! Which is actually a pretty easy fight, because occasionally they kill their own enemies, or their, their own allies, I keep saying their own enemies. Um, come on. Um, it doesn't have very much health, and these aliens that they drop, they die in one hit, no matter how much damage you do. Uh, so they're very easy to get rid of. Um, eh, even though they do get a little frustrating. <laughs> um, Alright, so now I have to fight another one, because for some reason fighting one was not enough. Um, and they do try to drop uh, big sand tablets on you, and uh, it's, it's kind of hard to hit them sometimes. Uh, because of that depth perception, or lack thereof. Um, but it's funny because sometimes when they're dropping down uh, ah, the aliens, they drop them down with such force that it actually hurts them and kills them. <laughs> so I always think that's kind of funny. Uh, also, uh, you might recognize these aliens as being um, the aliens from the game Alien Hominid, I think. Uh, it's another game on Newgrounds. Um, that I never really played that much. I played it like once or twice. Uh, made by the same people that made this game, so that's why they have it in here. And then... Bum bum! The giant alien spaceship is abducting me. Oh no, it's so terrible. Oh no, what will I do? Not to a sarcasm, because that's where you're supposed to go. Alright, so now you're stuck in this, you know, electric fence thing. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage, but you can't get through it unless you use arrows or magic um, to destroy that thing. Now, I think I remember reading that there's some kind of secret to the left of where I just came from, but I don't know what to do there to find the secret. So then you get here, and then, oh no, intruder alert, or prisoners escaped, or something. I don't read alien language. And then just a whole bunch of aliens are going to come in, and... Uh, you kind of just gotta fight them all, even though there's so many. Um, they don't do that much damage with their attacks, and they don't attack that frequently. Uh, and they all die within one hit, so it's a very nice little swarm. It's very easy to get rid of. Uh, what's kind of bad about this is that if you've been increasing your attack a whole bunch, then you're not gonna have a a good time fighting these enemies because uh, they all die in one hit so the attack that you do to them is kind of pointless and I think it's even like not registering how much damage I'm doing to them it's not like uh, putting up that little damage pointer um, it's just saying oh they got hit that means they're dead okay uh, and it's kind of hard to hit them all because <laughs> uh, they keep moving around <laughs> and there's so many um, but thankfully there's no time limit or anything to do this, so that would be difficult uh, to deal with the timer in this area. So there's so many. Uh, and then that, uh, I think that's actually their magic um, that they're using. So there, all of them, and that little 
alien thing is freaking out. Alright. So then here, I thought, great, now I have to fight a big one as a tough boss, and oh no, he's running right at me, and then he just goes right by me. It's like, what? What is he doing? I don't think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> but for some reason, that starts the countdown. And now we do have um, a limited time to get out of here. Uh, now, and I did realize, or find out, that if you increase your agility stat, it does make you run faster, and it makes this part uh, a little bit easier. And wow, that was the best I've ever done that. I usually get hit by those things so much. Uh, so wow, that's this is actually a bit of a difficult stage, even though I did it so quickly here. Um, just because of that timer. And it's ridiculous. And oh look, he's on a camel. Uh, and I don't know if he was actually going to hurt me. But uh, <laughs> I can make the camel spit. Um, Alright, so anyways. Uh, that... Uh, spaceship stage was actually pretty difficult sometimes um, because of those smoke uh, exhaust pipe things. They'll hit you back and stun you. Um, so if you're not careful, you can run out of time just trying to get through that little puzzle. Um, that little obstacle. So uh, just take your time and be patient uh, so that you don't waste any time by getting hit. There's all the advice I could give you. Um, and other than that, just try to hit the enemies quickly. Doesn't really matter how much damage you're doing, just as long as you hit them. Uh, and then you'll get through that okay. Now here, uh, I really... Oh, dang it. I was going to say, I really like riding on the camel. Um, because of how... Oh, dang it. Um, ah. <laughs> uh, because of how easily you can just run over the scorpions. Uh, so that's very nice. But... They have bombs. That is not very nice. <laughs> Gets ah, annoying because of the knockback. But it is nice that they can hurt each other. And I think my camel just ran over the guy in the little sand tornado. Um, so you also might have noticed that I'm not using my usual strategy of smashing them into the ground and then just floating away attacking them. Uh, I'm not sure if it was something on purpose with the game or if it's just something that changes with your gameplay or something, but that doesn't seem to work very well against the enemies I've been facing uh, later on. And now there's another guy in a camel, and he's got a zebra animal orb, so now I must chase him and follow and go as fast as I can, even though I think he's running as fast as I am. But, uh, try not to get stuck into those sand pits, because uh, that will obviously slow you down. And you don't have to catch up to him, uh, but if you want all the animal orbs, um, or if you just want to kill all the enemies, then obviously you do need to keep up with him. And I don't know where exactly is the cutoff point, but I know it's close. Um, so now I'm just carrying him along as I run, run over him. And now I have this animal orb, but I don't know what it does, so I'm just going to stick back with my elephant. Because um, I like the elephant. And, okay, so I did have all this room, and now I come in here, and do I have some bombs? Yes, but is it enough? No. Actually, yes, it is. Uh, there is a tiger animal orb, but I don't, I don't know what it does. It probably increases my strength, which means I probably want it, but, uh, oh well. Now I'm going to fight this guy with a sandwich power, and just do that because it's really nice, <laughs> really uh, effective. Boom. And now there's more. More sandwich power. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Come on. Oh. And, ah, there's another big one. Ah. Bombs would also be helpful here, but I just use my bombs to blow up in that wall. And I don't want to use any more sandwiches. Uh, I don't need any sandwiches, but... Uh, it's always nice to have some in reserve in case we actually do need them at some point. Alright, um, uh, can't attack them with the shovel, at least I don't think I can. Um, alright, fine, I'll use so much. Uh, not sure 
how effective that fighting is. <laughs> so I'm not doing that much damage to them uh, when I throw them, and it just takes up the time that I have to use my sandwich powers. And ah, I'm probably supposed to use magic on them, but I don't have many stats in my magic. So that's not gonna work, and they keep throwing me. And that's barely any range with that magic attack. Ah, they keep throwing me. Alright, ah, that's close. Ah, jeez. Not doing any damage to them. Oh, that's nice. And there's a big shovel in the background. A toy shovel, but a shovel nonetheless. Which, I don't know what that means. I'm supposed to dig anything in here? Because I don't see any spots I'm supposed to dig. Um, so yeah, and there's an enemy back there where the tiger was. Ah. So... What am I doing? Ah, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Come on. Almost. Almost there. Come on. Dang it. There we go. Ah, no! He's still alive! <laughs> he almost killed me. Ah. How much more do I need to do? There we go. Finally. I'll just take down these guys. Oh, still want more? Alright. Whew. Finally. Alright. And there's another... This is another area where enemies will come in and shoot some arrows, but I don't think you actually have to kill them uh, to progress. So usually just try to ignore them or uh, attack them if you want a little more experience. But uh, don't worry too much about them. Uh, only two, maybe three enemies should be coming. That was nice. Stabbed through the tornado. Um, and... Wait for it. Oh, dang. I thought I would shoot him. Alright. So this is a little bit more of a boring area, just because it's a bunch of fighting. And more arrows. But, oh. I only need to worry about two of these guys. And... There we go. That's better. See? Easy as that. I don't know why I haven't been doing that very often. More arrows. Uh, a bunch of arrows. Yeah. Alright. And... I know I'm not being very talkative uh, during this. Because there's not really much to talk about in this kind of game. Just lots of hack and slash and hack and slash and slash and dicey. Slice and dice and attack and... Attack and wow, I'm actually doing quite a bit <laughs> to this guy. Um, all right, is that it? Nope, one more. Three enemies. All right, and there's this pillar in the way that uh, can be a bit bothersome, <laughs> but uh, obviously not that big of a problem. Ow! I was trying to attack him, but no, ah, they're in tornadoes. There, and that's always nice. To Stab right through their sand tornado, sand nado, shark nado. No, just no. <laughs> no shark nado. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Anyways, <laughs> off that topic. Uh, now is it over? No, there's more enemies. Why are there so many enemies? Why? I think these guys are resistant to physical attacks, so using magic would be good. Uh, the guys with the chain mail over their faces. Yeah, guessing magic would have been better against them. But I don't have good magic. Which is why playing this in multiplayer is pretty good. Because then you can have one person focus on a bunch of magic, one person focus on a bunch of attack, and one person focus on a bunch of agility. And this is of course a time where it'd be better for multiplayer because for some reason these guys want to play volleyball. Or would it be beach volleyball or beach ball or something. Uh, I know that there are occasions when you can hit the enemy um, to stop them from actually hitting the ball back. Um, but I don't know exactly when the timing is, because occasionally they're invincible uh, when the ball is on their side or something. But uh, they, uh, I think you need to get 10 points or 11, maybe 8. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, uh, I don't think I can actually kill them though. Uh, it's just fun to do damage to them. And there we go. That might be it. Nope. 
Dang it. Uh, it's kind of hard to judge, again, because of depth perception and knowing where your sword will actually hit. So yay, I win! And they give me a map. And for some reason that's the end of the level. Ah, strange. 204 enemy, 207 gold, and 900 total experience. It's always nice, and I leveled up twice. Also nice. Alright, so with that map, I now have a new area to go to, and that is the Flooded Temple. And that will be the start of the next episode. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.